And this is the volumetric record of the ice. And uh, some of the models suggest to Dr. Maslowski that there is a 75% chance that the entire North Polar ice cap during summer, during some of the summer months could be completely ice free within the next five to seven years. So this is uh, from the starting point, 100% means there would be no ice left in the Arctic. And they predicted that basically around 2080, about 2100, all the ice would melt. But in reality, uh, the ice is melting very quickly. It's about half gone now, and it's gonna be all gone in the next five or 10 years. And if you don't believe that, you can take a look at actual satellite images taken year to year in the summer of the Arctic ice. For decades now, polar bears have been feeling the impact of global warming, documented by most experts. Each year in the Arctic, the progressively melting ice reveals more of the grassy and rocky ground beneath it. Further on the horizon, the sea ice is shrinking. In the past 800 years, its thickness has never been less than it is in the late 2000s as the ice relentlessly melts. So there's been a building of knowledge, a learning process, and part of the importance of the report is that it solidified consensus behind points that were more speculative when they were first made, say, 15 or 20 years ago. So, for instance, mm -hmm. the report says it is unequivocal that Earth is warming. It says it's very likely that most of that warming is due to the human-made buildup of the greenhouse gases. Right. It says the warming has accelerated in the past few decades, and that's causing a sea level rise that is also accelerated. It's, it, it indicates that there is a likelihood over time of an increase in heat waves, an increase in some places in drought. In other, pla in other places, rainstorms will become, will become more intense. Mm -hmm. And perhaps most noticeable at this stage is that the icy parts of Earth, the great ice sheets in Antarctica and Greenland, the floating sea ice, the Arctic sea ice pack, are starting to shrivel. Climate scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, outside Washington, say the Arctic could be entirely ice-free in late summer 2013. Hurricane Hermine is the first major hurricane to hit the United States in 10 years. Sandy, which did tremendous damage in 2012, wasn't a hurricane when it came ashore. So why such a long period of time since the last major hurricane? Well, the polar bears are thriving, as you said. Uh, in fact, 50 years ago, there were only five to 10,000 of these species. Today, there are over 25,000. In fact, of the 17 populations, 14 of those populations are either maintaining their populations or increasing their populations. So there's no question that the, uh, this is, bear is thriving. The ice, sea ice around Antarctica is growing uh, in recent years at a rate equal to the size of the state of Connecticut every year, 6,600 square miles, at a time when the sea ice of the Arctic at the North Pole is melting every summer by about the same amount. 